Hi, thank you for joining me. Today, I want to talk about the child that grows up in a narcissistic home and in adulthood prefers a more solitude life, the lone wolf. If you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Growing up in a narcissistic home, the child becomes desensitized to friendly fire, eventually seeing their parent as the enemy and avoiding them as much as possible. The parent will dismiss, overlook, and undervalue the child's feelings, wants, and needs, all while making their own feelings and needs a priority. They are selfish, unloving, incapable of nurturing and providing support for their child's self-development. This child may see their parent create drama and chaos over something insignificant or even imagined, fueled with emotions at the expense of others. They'll see them charm people in public using manipulation and be cold when alone in the house. They may see their parents shift blame, lie when confronted, or conveniently not remember it happening as a way to brush it off, dismissing any wrongdoing on their part, not taking responsibility, or apologizing for their actions. They use love as a means of control, withholding love to control actions, like raging over the child's elbow being on the table, using the child's behavior to justify their anger, and only showing love when they are doing something the parent wants. They ignore boundaries, isolate the child, and tell them things like providing shelter and food are things the child owes them for. The child may struggle between wanting a connection and feelings of anxiety when being around them. These children tend to become quiet, withdrawn, reserved, low in confidence and self-esteem, leaving the child exhausted. Their basic human needs of having a nurturing, unconditional love and healthy connection to their parent is not met and doesn't exist. Narcissistic abuse shapes who they are how they relate to the world, and how they connect to other people. The longer that this abuse goes on, the worse the outcome can be. These children may grow up into adulthood to have a desperate longing need to find love from other people to fill the void. Or they may grow up not having a desire to form connections or only having limited connections. These children may grow up to be a lone wolf. This personality type may occur from narcissistic abuse, being pushed away, neglected, or from being bullied. Wolves normally live in packs, but what the narcissistic parent has done is push that wolf away from the pack, and the lone wolf may tend to embrace it. When they feel they don't belong and don't fit in, this rejection can reinforce the lone wolf personality. The child loses trust for the people who are supposed to love and protect them the most in this world. So how do they trust anyone else? When this child loses trust, they tend to lose trust in everyone. They've learned that trust isn't safe. They may have spent a lot of time alone as a child, and this became their fortress. It was a place where they felt the most safe from anyone inflicting trauma. Being alone may become their newfound friend and companion, something they enjoy, giving them strength and power by giving them control over their environment. The lone wolf doesn't tend to feel lonely. It's more a feeling of being free because this protects them from others' emotions, problems, and it's a place where they don't have to feel responsible for other people's feelings. People can adopt the lone wolf personality simply because other people's reactions are too much for them. They typically don't like to absorb someone's emotions as it drains them of their energy. Lone wolves tend to be deep thinkers and understand that it's nobody else's responsibility to make them happy. They are solely responsible for themselves. They may have mastered the art of being happy as they avoid the blame, finger pointing, and victimizing and they tend to really know their own weaknesses and strengths. They most likely have gone through self-discovery and understand how their mind works and understand how other people work. They may develop a phobia to drama, 
gossip, shallowness, and negativity because it's unuseful and they had too much of it in their lives being raised by a narcissist that they no longer have a tolerance for it. The lone wolf tends to fight back, becoming their own warrior, standing up for what they believe in and walk their own path, living for truth, freedom, and authenticity. As children, when talking about their feelings, it was used against them. This could play a part in why they don't open up about their feelings as an adult. The lone wolves tend to believe that no one truly has their back, that everyone is out for themselves. They may think that asking others for support is unnecessary, unfair, weak, or dependent. They may be self-starters, have no interest in being the life of the party, not afraid to say no, no need for constant validation or approval from others, tend to have a high morality, can be good judges of character, and can thrive well in extreme conditions. The lone wolf would rather have a few quality friends who are genuine and authentic than a lot of acquaintances. They tend to have a serious nature, may be a little introverted, and can be known for their brooding, may often be called an old soul, have a childlike innocence, but can become beastly when triggered. The downside is some lone wolves could feel that because no one has their back, the weight of life rests on their shoulders alone. They may feel isolated because they don't feel safe sharing intimate personal information that would make them vulnerable. They may see other people as a threat or an obstacle, always being on the lookout for other people moving into their space. They may become depressed, burnt out, suicidal, or miserable. A part of them might want a connection with another person, but the other part of them might be terrified of others' emotions and their own emotions that come into play being in a relationship. They could feel that they are unseen. Nobody will believe in them. No one will like them or fear of abandonment. These are the thoughts that follow them into adulthood after surviving their childhood. The thoughts that the narcissistic parent instilled in the child. Finding a therapist to work through this is so important. Try focusing on what positive traits you hid from your parents. Are you funny, strong, protective, smart? Relearn who you are, finding yourself again. Your parents lied to you because you are worthy, you are lovable, and you are valuable. Everyone's experiences are different. Please feel free to leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you like my content. I hope this helps. I love you all.